C-reactive protein is an acute phase protein produced by the liver in response to inflammation, especially due to interleukin-6 produced by macrophages and T-cells. CRP levels rise rapidly after tissue injury, infection, or other inflammatory stimuli, making it a sensitive marker for systemic inflammation. CRP is indicated for various clinical conditions, including the following. Infection and sepsis. Autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, and inflammatory bowel disease to monitor disease activity. Cardiovascular risk assessment. High sensitivity CRP is used to assess the risk of myocardial infarction and stroke. In post operative monitoring to detect potential complications like infection. And for monitoring response to therapy in conditions like infection and inflammatory diseases. CRP levels can be measured quantitatively using methods such as immunoturbidimetry, nephilometry, and enzyme linked immunosorbin assay, or ELISA. These methods are based on antigen antibody reactions, where anti CRP antibodies bind to CRP in the sample, forming immune complexes. The degree of turbidity or light scatter correlates with CRP concentration. If the CRP concentration is less than 10 mg per liter, it indicates low or absent inflammation or infection. If the CRP concentration is more than 10 mg per liter, it indicates the presence of infection or inflammation. A CRP concentration more than 100 mg per liter is suggestive of significant infection or inflammation. In viral infections, the CRP level is usually between 20 to 40, whereas in bacterial infections, it often exceeds 100. It is important to note that the CRP test is nonspecific, and it doesn't indicate the exact cause or location of inflammation. In addition, it may be elevated in conditions like trauma, surgery, malignancy, or obesity. Therefore, it should be interpreted in clinical context and often alongside ESR complete blood count, and other relevant tests.